Hey Lil Shantara Gobier here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to ship your orders as well as how to package them. So the very first thing you want to do is to log on Big Cartel and print out your packing slip, which I just did. And before I even get started, I want to tell you guys that all my orders are currently shipped. This will be an old order that I'm using today. And I want you guys to know that I did launch my business on July 1st. And in July, my sales were all the way up there. And in August, I kind of got sales here and there. And in September has been really slow for me. And I told you guys that to just let you guys know that um, there will be downtimes in business. There will be months or weeks or days that your business is going slow that you may not see a lot of sales like you did in the beginning or like you did last week or one week or the week before or whatever um you may not see the consistency in sales but that just means um what it doesn't mean is don't give up um stay motivated stay on the journey keep being inspired keep being motivated keep being dedicated to your vision to your passion and to your purpose and what that also means is if something if you feel like something has not been working for you in the beginning um, test out new things, try new methods, try out anything that's going to get you the results that you want. But please do not give up. So, um, now that I got that off my chest, again, it's today's video. The first thing you want to do, like I said, is go to bigcartel.com. And I also want to tell you guys that I did get a new laptop. So, um, me not having a laptop has kind of put me behind on my channel for two weeks. Well, behind in my head, of course, because I haven't gave you guys a schedule or anything on this channel. But it did cause me not to post a video for a couple of weeks. But we're back on it. So, I do have Big Cartel um, logged in on my laptop. I hope you, hope you guys can see because I actually have my customer's address and everything on there. And by looking at my viewfinder, you can't really see anything. But I have my packing slip printed, and then the next thing you want to do, let me start recording on my laptop. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is, I like to look at my customer's information, where they order from, because that makes me excited if somebody ordered from another state or whatever. Um, but the first thing you want to do is I look at their information and then I look at what they ordered. So this customer ordered some cedarwood and Elaine Elaine hair and scalp oil, as well as a navy and yellow reversible bunny, the adult size. And she spent, not that this matters, but she spent $35.99. And um, on my website, I do um, have my customers pay for shipping, but on Etsy, they do not have to pay shipping. But... Okay, so I actually don't have any all made already, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to act like I do have some all made already. And I don't have a navy and yellow bunny made already, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use another bunny and show you guys how I package my orders. Okay, guys, so as I mentioned, my customer did order one bottle of cedarwood and Elaine Elaine hair and scalp oil. So that is what this is right here. And what I ship my oil in is a plastic bubble mailer bag. And I will link where I got these from below. Well, I got them from Amazon, but I will put the direct link in the description box. So it has this bubble wrap in the inside. And since my bottles are made out of glass, not plastic, I wanted to make sure that it has some type of protective covering in the inside. Okay, so actually what I do is when they order oil, um, if they order that applicator bottle, I will put it both I will put them both in a Ziploc bag. And how I do that is this. I make sure I take the top off the um applicator bottle. And I will also link where I got these applicator bottles from down below. They did come from Amazon as well. <laughs> Pretty much everything I order from my business did come from Amazon. And then other places like if I order fabric or something, it came from. Well, there will actually be a separate video on where I got everything from. I'm not even going to get into that in this video. But what I do for the um, applicator balls is I make sure I take the top off because the bag is not large enough for the top to stay on. So that is how this looks. And then what I'll do is stick their all inside the Ziploc bag. And then, like I said, this bag is not that large. 
So what I kind of do is like tilt it a little bit. I make sure that the, the top is on there like tightly. Then I twist it a little bit and I'm sorry, I tilt it a little bit. You see that? Tilt it a little bit and then I close it. So after I do that, it pretty much looks like this. This is how I package my oils. And then I take my poly mellow bag that is padded with bubbles. Bubble wrap, should I say. And then I stick it in there. And then what you want to do is just take this off. And then it does have a heat soak behind this. And then you just flip it over. So the next thing she ordered was a navy and yellow reversible bunny. And like I said, I do not already have one of those made. But what I do have already made is this reversible bunny. And for the sake of this video, like I said, I'm just going to tell you guys how I package it. I take the reversible bunny and then um, for my African print bunnies, I actually have these tags that I put in the inside to brand my bunnies. So these are the tags that I created for my bunnies to brand them. My camera never wants to focus. I think you guys know this by now. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, there we go. These are the tags that I put on my bunnies to brand them. Like I said, I don't do it on all my bunnies, just the African print bunnies. Um, because with these reversible bunnies, my customers do have the option of wearing it on either side. One day they can have a navy bunny, and then the next day, focus. There we go. So one day they can wear it on this side, and then the next day they can wear it on the opposite side. So that is why I do not put these on reversible bunnies. These Merlot bags are also from Amazon. I will try to link these down below, but I ordered these so long ago, so I'm not sure if I can even still find them, but I will try to and I will link it below. So I just take the bunny, I put it inside this Miller bag. It's in the bag. And then what I do after that is I take my thank you card. Video coming soon on how I created my thank you cards as well as my business card. Um, so I take my thank you card. This is my old business card or my first business card, should I say. I'm not even going to play with this thing. I'll just insert a picture of both of them together right here. But this is my old business card. And this is my new business card. So if you guys don't know... Um, I think I will be making this announcement tomorrow and then this video will not go out to Sunday. So this video will be coming out Sunday and hopefully by then I make my announcement. But I did create another YouTube channel, Sage Beauty Naturals. And that channel will be for those dealing with hair loss or those who have had any experience with hair loss ever. Um, I will be sharing ways that I wear my hair because if you guys don't know, I am a victim of hair loss. I do have trash and alopecia. Um, you'll hear a little bit more about my story and my hair journey on that channel back to this video back to this channel i'm sorry i had to plug out but y'all know i gotta do it so after i get my bunny in a poly mailer bag that's not what i was saying actually what i was saying is this is my new business card and the only difference between my first business card and this business card is that i do advertise my youtube channel on here as well as my etsy shop so after your bunny is in the mailer you then want to put your thank you card and your business card inside. And what I also like to do is review my packing slip that I printed from Big Cartel. Make sure that I have everything in here. And then what I do is kind of fold it over. Just so everything is visible. And y'all, y'all know my camera does not focus. So if it focuses on this girl address, I'm going to be upset. I'm sorry. If it focuses on my customer address, I'm going to be upset. But yeah, so I just fold it up like this. So, so this is what it looks like inside of here. So I did get ahead of myself in this video. But what I ran out of and what I usually do for my bunnies is I put it in a gallon Ziploc bag. 
just as another layer of protection instead of just putting it directly inside the mirror bag. So this is how I ship them, especially if they order more than one bunny. Um, this is helpful and it's a great size. And believe it or not, I did get these gallon Ziploc bags from Dollar Tree. Then I will take their oil if they order oil. And of course, this will normally be adhered already with the adhesive. But for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Stick that in there. And then lastly, what you wanna do, and you guys didn't peep, I did take this out just to show you guys how I put everything in there all at once. But then lastly, what you wanna do is put your thank you card in there. And then put your business card in there. Now this one is clear, but you will take this strip off. Um, it does have adhesive behind it. You're gonna flip it over. And then just like that, it's packaged. Hey guys, so in this part of the video, I'll be showing you all how I ship my order to USPS. So the first thing you want to do is go to USPS.com, sign in or create your account. Find where it says click and ship and make sure your return address is correct. Enter the shipping address and make sure that it's accurate as well. Choose the date you will be shipping. And if you have a scale, weigh your package. And if not, choose I am shipping flat rate. Um, insert the package value. This is for insurance purposes. Choose what you will be shipping your product in. And then include additional insurance if you would like. Me personally, I don't include the additional insurance because priority mail does come with free insurance up to $50. And then, so after you do that, you want to review your summary and then add it to your cart. So after you enter your customer's information in, the next thing you want to do is put your billing information in. Then USPS would allow you to go ahead and print. And then after that, if you guys haven't seen my last video or one of my more recent videos on how to create oilproof labels, waterproof, smudge proof, and oilproof labels, um, I will link that up in the iCards above. But that is where I actually get my shipping label paper from or you have the option of using just regular printer paper and then tape any clear tape will do and you just stick it on top of your mailer bag so I don't do that I don't use the tape I do have the shipping labels that I originally wanted to use for my products but as you guys will see in that video or have I already seen that video if you already watched it is that the labels that I initially wanted to use for my products, I ended up using those for my shipping labels. Now, I did wish that I had a order to actually show you guys um, in this video. But, like I said, the month of September has been really slow for me. Um, if I have gotten an order, it has been like one order at a time. Not a huge amount of orders like I was getting at first. But, don't worry. Like I said, if you are experiencing the same thing, do not give up. Re-strategize. Um, go back to the writing board. Go back to the table. And... Figure out what is working for you and figure out what is not working for you. And that leads me to my next thing. Some of you guys have been contacting me, asking me how you guys can find, find a market in the bunny business or whatever. And truth be told, that is something that I have not mastered yet. That's what I'm currently um, working on right now. So you guys, please stay tuned because it will be a video soon because I will figure this thing out. As always, don't forget to educate, encourage, and empower. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And leave a comment below if I left anything out. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.